University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, March the 8th. And we're talking about Missouri Cures today and also an organization that's been part of our community for over 80 years now, Nora Stewart Early Learning Center. But let's start, first of all, with my friend Margaret Tollerton. Welcome back to Radio Friends, Hi, Margaret. Paul. Thanks for having me. Missouri Cures. And um, there are a couple of things I wanted to mention that I had been reading in the newspaper. Uh, but there are two speaker events that you want to plug first. Yes, thank you. Missouri Cures is happy to host um, a speaker series all through 2012. And the two that are coming up, um, these are speaker series lectures for kind of science for non-science majors. Mm -hmm. And um, the one coming up immediately is in Kansas City and that will be March 11th at 2 p.m. Um, and you can go to our website to find this out also. But Don Cornelson is an MU researcher and professor, and she will be speaking about her specialty, which is um, researching the potential for using stem cells to treat muscular-related diseases, such mm -hmm. as muscular dystrophy and things like that. And then April 15th, um, Dr. John Viator will be discussing his recent breakthrough of... Um, early detection for melanoma. Um, and he will be here in Columbia April 15th at the Perlo Stevens Gallery over there mm -hmm. on Walnut P.S. Mm -hmm. um, Gallery. And um, with John, it also shows how Missouri Cures, our mission as an organization, is to promote and protect m responsible medical research, including stem cell research. And John's research has, does not involve stem cells, but it, we're all excited to um, promote his recent breakthrough. Mm -hmm. um, and for the rest of the year, usually we're trying to have um, one speaker a month somewhere around the state of Missouri. So the April the 15th, so you can go this Saturday to Kansas City. Yes. Uh, and then on April the 15th, John will be speaking here in Columbia. At PS Gallery, All yes. Right. Now the other thing, and if you want more information on any of this, you can go to your website. Right, at www.missouricures.org. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to mention, there have been several stories uh, in the newspaper recently. One, I believe, was last week. It was either earlier this week or last week, where I read about a breakthrough in stem cell research that uh, the stem cells can cure or, or uh, help reduce the scarring in your heart with a heart attack, uh, almost eliminate the scars from the heart attack. You read right. Isn't that so exciting? You know, I get excited to share the breakthroughs, especially because um, they seem to be happening so frequently now. There was another one about uh, uh, macular degeneration, using stem shells to reverse macular degeneration. Yes. Now, that clinical trial is still in stage one, which is to prove um, the safety of the procedure. And in essence, the two patients who are participating so far in that human clinical trial um, actually are reporting that they have um, increased vision mm -hmm. now. And so they're finding better than they expected. Now, if people want to read more about the healing the heart and macular degeneration, can they go to your website? Yes. And, and the information about this trial yes. is on the website. And when they go to missouricures.org, they can also sign up to receive a free newsletter. We send out a newsletter once a month. Okay. And that we usually try to keep our readers um, engaged in the most recent breakthroughs. Okay. Margaret, thank you so much. The website again is? MissouriCures.org. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paul. All right. Pleasure having you here. Now, I turn to a couple of ladies who are here to tell us about an organization that's been a part of this community for 
80 years or over 80 years? Coming up on 80 years. 80 years. Now, yes. neither one of you uh, have been <laughs> with Nora Stewart Early Learning Center for 80 years. No. You're mere children yourself. Uh, <laughs> but we have Cheryl Howard, Executive Director. Good to have you here, Cheryl. Thanks for having us. And then Zona Burke, who is a board member. For people who may not be aware, tell us what the Nora Stewart Early Learning Center is. Okay, Nora Stewart is uh, centrally located here in Columbia, Missouri. Like I said, we've been around for over 80 years. Our goal is to prepare uh, from six weeks all the way up to 10 years old. Uh, basically, our focus is on providing children with education and needs to succeed upon entering kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you feel or how has your organization existed? How has it lived for 80 years? Uh, determination. Yeah, that, that's a pretty <laughs> tough job being around 80 years. Oh, yes. We've had only three directors within 80 years, and that's Miss Amanda Estes, Miss Mary Jane Davis, and myself. Over 80 years, yes. three directors. Yes. That's real dedication. Yes. So what is it that's so special to you about the Nora Stewart Early Learning Center? One, I am an alumni of Nora Stewart Early Learning Center. Oh, you are? Yes. So... Um, I can remember my teachings and what I've received and how it has accomplished me to be where I'm at today. So mm -hmm. it's, it's very so you're giving to my back heart. to it. Yes. You feel like you're giving back. Yes, very much so. And so there's got to be a lot of love there. A lot. Zona, what about you? I am not an alumni of Nora Stewart, but I've, I've been in Columbia for quite a while working with the programs that I do, a lot of kids that I see the need that could, you know, could they have gone to Nora Stewart? They may have done better in school. And we're excited to be here today to talk about a new initiative that we have coming up and what is that? later in March. We're going to be launching a program called Fast Lane to Literacy, Read or Go to Jail, mm. because we think literacy is that important to young children. And, you know, I like the title, Read or Go to Jail. Yes. And that may not be too far from the truth. <laughs> it isn't too far from the truth. The research shows that children who aren't reading proficiently by third grade usually end up kind of on that track. They don't have the military anymore, so jail are the streets. Right. And we know that a lot of that learning, the brain is ready for that learning and early childhood. Cheryl's talked about, you know, we now have infants at Nora Stewart, and we're ready to go hopefully by then. We're going to be asking the public for some support to help us with this initiative. Okay, what, what are you asking for the public? Well, we're asking for a couple of things. One is obviously we'll be having a fundraising campaign mm -hmm. and we're also seeking partners and partnerships and Cheryl's already at work with some of those to get them in place Okay. to do things like READ. Uh, Minority Men's Network comes already and READs at Kiwanis. We'll be adding a partnership probably with some other groups, University of Missouri and, if and people, If people want more information on how they can get involved, what's the phone number to call? 573-449-5981 or go to www.norstewart.com. Okay. Thank you very much. And I hope you're around. I'm sure you will be around for another 80 years. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies, for coming by. Tomorrow, uh, Val German will be here, Central Missouri Astronomical Association. we got some good pictures to show you. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio Pat Akers, KBIA, Danny Madison is our floor director, and Uncle James Bowser, our assistant uh, producer and guest coordinator. Bye-bye.